Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, neck uh, Batman figure, uh, the Adam West Batman, and uh, this is a 7 inch uh, version. Uh, I must say, this is really hard to find. Uh, I've only seen it once, and uh, it's at Toys R Us, and uh, so let's take a look at him and all the accessories. And I've noticed something about NECA, um, with their packaging, um, the photos they use are always the 18 inch uh, version of the figure. Um, uh, even though this um, this figure they're selling it's a 7 inch but they're showing that uh, the 18 inch uh, version instead. So there's there's something wrong because uh, uh, this figure does not have this type of articulation nor does this have the um, double jointed elbows or these hands or that cape or uh, that uh, articulation right there and he could definitely not do this. So it's definitely misleading for them to be showing uh, these two pictures while they're, uh, they're, what they're advertising is uh, a 7 inch figure because uh, you can see he could definitely not do this pose because he doesn't have the double jointed elbows. So yeah. So here's the figure and uh, it comes with um, two extra hands. Uh, it comes with uh, two fists and uh, one holding the batarang and one holding the um, communicator. And I already broke the peg off of this one uh, because I was trying to move the joint, um, that hinge joint around the hand it snapped right off and uh, here's the figure and um, I want to mention that I made a little modification uh, instead of having the cape on the outside where it's actually over the cow itself um, I decided to pop his head off and the cow uh, the neck piece and put the cape underneath and pop this back on and the head back on so that's why it looks like this. I know it's not um, TV show accurate, but uh, I felt like doing that. I just, uh, just like it a little bit more than to have uh, the piece coming over the neck. And uh, there's the batarang, which he's holding. Uh, basically, the sculpt on this is almost exactly the same as the 7 inch, I mean, uh, the 12 inch version. I mean, no, not 12, uh, the quarter scale, which is the 18th inch version. And uh, there's the head sculpt of uh, Adam West Batman, which is nice. Uh, I am always uh, impressed with uh, how they could shrink these things down. Because uh, I'm sure they're working off of, uh, when they sculpt these things, they're working off of the 18 inch mold. And uh, they were able to shrink this down to a 7 inch uh, version, which uh, retains all the details. It's always awesome and uh, I do like the fact that uh, the emblem is not a sticker so as far as articulation uh, head is on the ball joint and then the shoulders are ball hinge uh, elbows are ball hinge and the glove there's a swivel joint around the uh, end of the glove, glove area and then there's a hinge joint around the wrist there's a, a, a ball joint around the waist a ball jointed hips uh, ball hinged knees and uh, ball jointed ankles and here's a roller measuring how tall he is he is a seven inch figure uh, not a whole lot more to say about this uh, Adam West uh, Batman figure other than that he is uh, pretty hard to find in my area uh, but I'm sure other people uh, might have seen him or uh, or he might be all over the place at the uh, Toys R Us but I've only seen it once and uh, was able to pick it up and yeah so there you go there's Adam West from NECA thanks for watching oh and uh, this thing is way better than Mattel one I'll show you and here we have a comparison between the Mattel Adam West Batman and the NECA Adam West Batman as you can see the <laughs> NECA one is far far superior than the Mattel one I don't even know why Mattel still has uh, the DC license. Uh, the, they can't produce anything good these days. Uh, hopefully they'll give it up and uh, let someone else uh, take a crack at it. So yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching.